Welcome back to part two, guys. Um, okay, right here, we're taking care of some business. This is something I suggest everybody do, and I'm sure they do. you got to find the music, and for me at this point, it was Conan the Barbarian, uh, the soundtrack. So we're ready to go. Let's toss that guy on. Now what we're going to do is, just like last step, and this one was a longer video, so as you can see, it's going to start going pretty ape crazy all over this thing. Um, again, if you haven't followed my videos before, what I'm doing is I'm using a kneadable eraser, and as you can see, it's very light now, okay? So, what we do is we get our pencil, uh, sharpen her up, and start taking care of business. So what we're doing here is, now that I've got it all nice and light, I can go in there and, again, like I was saying a little bit in the previous video, I can pick and choose the lines that I like. And I apologize for uh, the one light source. My normal light source that I usually get is the window, uh, but it's rainy outside today. So the sun's taking the day off, and I don't have a lamp, so we're getting a lot of shadow going on. And again, my excellent camera work here, as uh, what I'm drawing is off the screen. So hopefully I clue in a little bit more and I can show you guys what's going on. Uh, but going back to what I was saying, what, what you want to do here, or what I do anyway, is go in there and I pick the lines that I like, that um, you know that I feel are good, that I've already drawn before. I can get a little bit more confident with the lines that I choose, chose, uh, choose to take, because in the previous step, all the hard work's been done. Uh, you can still see it uh, lightly behind there, uh, of all the, you know, the anatomy that I liked, um, the way the forms moved, a lot of the set pieces, things like that. Um, I really apologize for this. It makes it a little bit rough to see. It's like I draw it. <laughs> it's because in order for me to record this, it's in my shirt. And, uh, you know, uh, when I lean over to draw, I have to, like, arch my head down. So I think it's pushing the camera down. And uh, this is something I'll probably try working on in my spare time, figuring a good way to do this, because this is pretty brutal. But anyway, what we're doing here is I, I decided to add, like, a, a cape to him little bit of a cape, but it has to be fur because he's in the forest, and uh, so it's kind of not not just a cape, but um, how do I word it? Like a, you know how Batman's cape works, how it kind of goes over his shoulders, kind of gives it a more uh, primal look to me. So I'm, I'm tossing those on, and here how I'm just adding some lines in there uh, to push and pull the antlers forward and behind. Uh, the antlers are a 3D object; they don't just you know go flat out the, to be interesting you got to curve it in and out a bit so I hope you can see a little bit there uh, once all these videos are done I am going to show a high-res scan so you guys can see what it looks like at the end and again there'll be a link to the actual image if you wanted to see it individually and uh, what I decided to do here as well is uh, to help beef up his uh, headdress I kinda wanted it to be a crown you know a little bit uh, so I decided to add feathers and feathers I mean I know a lot of uh, tribal Images and stuff use feathers. Uh, it's a very elegant look, and I thought I would add it to him too, kind of to give it. You know, not only is uh, he wolfish and antlers, you know, are on him, so the, a lot of ground animals, but it also adds to the effect that you know somehow he's gotten those feathers. And uh, in my mind, anyway, it would have been he's more of a hunter, so he was also able to get the the bird feathers, which you know, to me, gives it a little look of. This guy is really, you know, on top of things. And here, we're just bringing out uh, some of the circles on his chest piece. Man, this is good camera work. <laughs> this is so bad. Hopefully this doesn't bother you guys too much. Uh, by all means, again, uh, like I usually say, if you guys have any comments, concerns, or suggestions, uh, you could always send me a message right here on YouTube. Uh, you could go to my site to check out how to contact me through email or uh, private messages, Twitter, anything like that, by all means, send me a little message. And if you'd like a little video done, or if you have a question, and I may be able to help you out, um, and you, if you have any interest in a technique that I may know to be able to solve it or how I get around it, uh, just ask and I'll uh, toss a video up and uh, hopefully it'll help you out. So here's a perfect example of uh, the shoulder. I usually like to break the shoulder in about three pieces. Uh, as the shoulder turns away from you, I kind of sometimes break one of those third pieces up a bit just to give it a little uh, more of a cut look, you know, like a little bit more ripped, a little more visceral look. Here I'm just going to do the abs. Uh, they do curve, so I wanted to add a little bit of a bend in there because he isn't standing totally straight. 
And uh, here I'm adding, it's like an elastic band. I know a lot of like uh, Indian pictures and things like that. Uh, they usually have like these bands around their arms, sometimes forearms. Usually it's on their thighs or their, uh, right under their shoulders. I'm not exactly the, sure the point of that, but you know, it looks cool. Toss some of that in there. Uh, some bandages. A little beat up because this guy's been around the block a bit. I uh, stopped at that hand because it was giving me a little, giving me a little bit of a trouble, and I didn't want to spend the whole video doing that. Uh, so what I did is I'm just jumping around. The idea too, I, a lot of artists talk about it, and it's something uh, I would highly suggest practicing. If you're ever stuck in an area, like, from for instance, for me, that hand, instead of just slaving over that and erasing it, just jump around the image, find something else that you can just uh, mindlessly do. And in this case, it was just doing the forearms and doing the second hand. That hand had already been done for me. I didn't do the, the baby steps of that first hand. And now it's biting me in the butt because now I'm at this stage and that hand's not done. So I'll have to come back to it and I'll have to fix that out. Uh, that's why that early stage, the first video you guys watched, is fundamentally the most important part of any step. And you'll hear a lot of artists talk about it. Because that's where you're landing your, gro your groundwork down and everything after that is based on all the early work you do. So the more time you spend there, the less problems and questions you're going to give yourself later on as you go. So here I'm just adding some folds in his little uh, flap in front of him there. Uh, some more bandages. Again, just picking the, the lines that I like out of the leg. You don't have to add every single muscle. Just the muscles that you like at the time. That I like to do it that way anyway. Just adding a little bit uh, more of his uh, cape or his uh, back piece there. And here I'm going to pause the video. When you come back, that hand's going to be done. I didn't want to. I, I did spend about a few minutes just trying to work it out. There you go. You can see it in there. See, it's too small, so I'm going to erase it. And uh, I had lightly gone in with the. Did a new hand. Didn't want to make you guys sit through that. So there's the new hand. doing the individual fingers. I, I didn't know if I wanted to have something coming out of the hand, like a magic or something like that. So what I ended up doing is, you'll see, I don't know if it's a, in this video or in the next one, um, I started adding body paint to him. It's something I'm, I'm really getting interested in lately anyway, in a couple pieces that I've been doing lately. So I decided to add like a, an eye, you know, like an all-seeing eye kind of in the middle of his hand. Um, You'll see that later on. And here, I just wanted to add a little, little uh, effect of the bandages wrapping around the legs, but connected between them. I thought I'd add just a little bit of a cool little effect there. So it's pretty much done, the line work phase here. And um, I'm just quickly doing the boots and the feet. I didn't want to spend too much time doing the feet. And it's, it's something that you shouldn't do a lot of, of not doing hands and feet. Don't be scared of them. Jump in and do them. Uh, but the purpose of the video is I, d I didn't want to spend too much time doing the monotonous things. I wanted to uh, get the important things out of the way to show you guys as well. So here's the body paint I was talking about. And uh, I'm just placing them wherever I think would look cool. But the one thing to remember too, when you're doing anything like this, uh, whether it's costume design or uh, effects like this, don't forget what you're drawing on. Uh, those are supposed to be 3D shapes. So if something's wrapping behind it and someone's being pushed and pulled, don't not contour those lines to it. It'll really break the illusion you're trying to achieve, you know. It is a piece of paper. It's a 2D object. So your job as an illustrator, and I, I try really hard to do it, and sometimes I fail miserably, is to actually make the illusion believable. So this video is uh, coming to an end, and we're going to go into part three after this, the final video. And uh, basically, in that video, all we're going to do is start uh, throwing a little bit of line weights. I'm going to save that for another video, uh, but just doing some shading and making it, the image really pop and finalize it out. So I hope you guys are enjoying this and having a good time. And stick around for the last and final video, because uh, it's coming up next. All right, guys, see you then.